So, today I want to talk about true kindness, genuine kindness, and the three ways people fake kindness. I think the definition of kindness is not clear for some people, and I think that some of us were just weren't raised in a way that we weren't taught how to unconditionally love ourselves and other people. We were not taught how to give without expecting anything in return. So the first thing I noticed is one of the ways that people fake kindness is when they try to help someone only for a hidden reason. There's something that they want from this person. I will help you, I'll give you everything that you want. But they're expecting something. They feel like if I help this person, I will own them. That they will owe you. But you don't even know that now you're becoming someone who owes them something. You don't know because you just think that they're just helping you just because they care for you. It doesn't matter whether they're family or not. Some people would still only give to you because they want something in return. It's not a healthy way to love somebody. It's not a healthy way to give and receive love because there is hidden expectation that it wasn't expressed. If both sides accept it, like, hey, I want to help you with this. Can you help me with that thing? then it's fine but if it wasn't expressed then it's like one person is tricking the other person into owing them something and a lot of people do that with the closest people to them because that's the only way they learned how to receive love that's the only way they were brought up on that kind of love the conditional type of love and it's not healthy some people would help someone in the street or an older person or whatever they would help someone only to show off or to look like hey look at me I'm a good person look I'm a good son they would do a lot of things pleasing other people to look good because they don't believe that they are good deep down So they feel like they constantly have to prove themselves. I am good, I am good. I want to prove to everybody that I am a good person. And I think that's an issue. We have to convince ourselves first that we are good. Because if you convince deep down that you are a good person, then you won't have to try. You don't have to try so hard to prove to other people that you're good. You don't have to be good to another person just so they they would think that you're good. So we just have to work on ourselves, take all the time you need to heal, and then you will reset all your old beliefs and start believing that you are a good person. That's the other way that people fake kindness is when they try to please other people and they let them walk over them they allow them to say hurtful things to them and that's not you being kind you are allowing them to continue their bad behavior you're not helping them learn that it's not okay to do that Even if you're younger than them, even if they were your parents, it doesn't matter because it's not only one way. It's not just the parents have to teach the children. In these moments, for example, we learn from each other. We help each other grow. And respect and love shouldn't be only from one side. It shouldn't be just us showing love and respect to our parents but our parents have to do that too we have to respect each other's boundaries 
true kindness in a situation like that is when you set your boundaries when you say that's not okay the truth hurts but you are actually being kind to them this way because you are being honest you are teaching them how to be respectful how to be respectful to you and how to be respectful to themselves and maybe they will stop doing that to other people sometimes setting boundaries is not only verbally it's not just saying hey that's not okay sometimes setting your boundaries means that you have to lock the door whatever you can do to protect your energy to protect your your peace of mind we think that if we let other people walk over us that that means that we're being kind but that is not true kindness because first we're hurting ourselves and secondly we're not really allowing them to grow and learn and be better the third way we fake kindness is when we pretend to be someone that we're not when we're not being who we really are our true self we're hiding all this magic all these beautiful things about ourselves the things that make us unique when you hide all these skills that you have you're not using what god gave you i think that that is selfish you could be sharing all this magic with the world I believe that we have to be an example. We have to start and stop waiting for someone else to be a good example for us. We have to start being the example that we want. And doing that means that you have to start being yourself and taking courageous steps as long as you're walking toward authenticity. And it is so hard. It's the hardest thing. but it's the right thing the right way is never an easy way but it's the best way it's the most rewarding thing that you can do every time you choose to do something the right way i promise you it will pay off the more authentic you are the more kind you are because this way you are teaching other people how to be who they are you're teaching other people how to be brave more brave and to show their magic to share their talents and their skills and this way you're making the world a better place just by being your true self you're being an example to other people we all start to be who we really are and we all share our skills this way we can improve the world and this is true kindness and it has to start from you it starts from here it start by you recognizing your worth your value and that you are here for a reason and you have to respect that you have a purpose here and you have to protect yourself love yourself and doing that requires that you set your boundaries whenever you feel like you need to and continue to be who you really are continue to be yourself and that's it <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my video and don't forget to like and subscribe um i have a patreon account if you would like to join me the links are in the description and i will see you in the next video bye <laughs>